Shalom. I'd like to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, and salutations to the elect scattered abroad. My name is Amon Gabar, back with another lesson, Lord, wants to edify and feed the lambs of Yahweh, by Hashim Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, Rakaq Wadash. All right, now, as entitled, GMS, you know, is the only camp to have 100% truth, or GMS have the truth. You know, Great Millstone, starting with the apostles of Great Millstone, to the elders, to the, you know, younger elders, to the brothers, to the teachers, to the prophets. You know, the men of Great Millstone have the truth, man. That's point blank, period, man. You know, and I say that because clearly, you know, these other camps, you know, these other camps out there, you know, without sugarcoating anything, they're full of shit, man. You know, they're full of shit. You know, Great Millstone is a camp of prophets. As Apostle Tahav said, you know, years ago, and he, you know, I, you know, constantly saying it, GMS, Great Millstone is a camp of prophets. And Amos 3 and 7 says, Surely the Lord Power, God, Yahweh, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Now, what are the secrets, man? The secrets are the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. All right, the secrets are the deep parables that the Most High was speaking to the multitude, the Salaki, that Yahweh Shai was speaking unto the multitude that the multitude couldn't understand. You know, the multitude couldn't understand the deep secrets that Yahweh Shai have showed unto the prophets in these days and time. You know what I'm saying? And when you read the book, um, I believe I pulled it up, I bookmarked it. But when you read um, Matthew's 13th chapter, it tells you. Because when you read up, the Lord, let me read up. It says, Matthew 13 and 1. The same day went Yahweh Shah out of the house and sat by the seaside. And a great multitude were gathered together unto him. And that, so that he went into a ship and sat. And the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a soul went forth to sow. Now I'm going to stop there. Now the Lord Yahweh spoke unto a multitude of people in parables, man. Why would he speak unto people in parables? Because it wasn't meant for a whole bunch of people to get it. That's number one. All right. Now the Lord, you know, in this particular case, the Lord spoke unto a multitude in parables. But then he went, you know, privily to his disciples and he broke it down unto them, you know, what the parables meant. Because verse 10 tells you, and the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou to them in parables? And he said unto them, Because it is given unto you. It is given unto you. It is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. You know what I'm saying? Now, you had a whole bunch of people listening to the Lord, man. They was actually sitting here inquiring about what the Lord had to say. But the Lord spoke unto them in parables because it wasn't given to these particular people to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, man. And that's the same thing as, he, you know, in these camps. Now, the, the scriptures tell you in Matthew 7, chapter 9, everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, all right, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Um, Let me see. I believe it's Matthew 7, man. If I can pull it up real quick. Matthew 7. Maybe it's not Matthew 7, but Oh, matter of fact, yeah, it is Matthew 7 and 22 Right here It says, um Matthew 7 and 22 Many will say Many many will say to me in that day Lord, Lord Or Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai Have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? Now I, profess, I will profess, profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Now that shows you that, you know, you have people that know the name of Yahweh Shai or Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai that, that work iniquity, man. You got people out there that, that know the name of the Lord and His Son, but they're evil. Their hearts are not pure. You know, they're wicked, man. You know? Because the scriptures tell you that um that even devils believe and they tremble, man. 
Even Satan, the spiritual demon Satan, believe in the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and he trembles at it, man. You know? So how much more these these lower level demons that call in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, but deep inside their heart, they're really wicked, man. The Lord's going to say unto them in that day, you know, I don't know you. Who the hell are you? You know what I'm saying? You didn't go about this truth, you know, pursuing to the proper protocols and the guidelines that were given, the instructions that was given unto you, man. You know? So let me go back to Matthew's um, 13. It says, he, matter of fact, verse 11, it says, he answered and sent to them because it's given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom, but to them it is not given. All right, now the mysteries of the kingdom. Number one, you know, the apostles of the great millstone, they, you know, through the spirit teaches the whole truth. Regardless of what, if it may hurt, you know, hurt your feelings, if you may not agree with it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Certain prophecies of the scriptures that the apostles have been teaching and our brothers have been teaching, the elders have been teaching, it's coming to pass, man. You know, why? Because the Most High have showed the mysteries, you know, to the men of the Lord. Now, Deuteronomy 18 and 22. When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, if the If the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken. But the prophet hath spoken presumptuously. Thou should not be afraid of him. Alright, now you got prophets, or so-called prophets, that do speak in the name of the Lord. Alright, and they speak things that are not going to come to pass. Like, for instance, you had Nate and the angel, the um, the 800 man march, you know, marching against violence. That's not going to come to pass. Alright, nothing but violence is coming to America, man. Alright, now let's be real. Fuck all that bullshit. Put all the hate aside, man. Because, you know, guys will say, oh, you're just hating, da 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 Listen, let's speak prophetically speaking, man. Alright, violence is coming to America, man. All right, the Most High is bringing race wars, famine, plagues, pestilence. All right, there's going to be violence. You know, so it says, When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the following, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken. All right, now that's a false prophet, man. For example, on the flip side of it, you have the actual prophets who've been speaking about the mark of the beast, man. Who've been speaking about the RFID chip. Who've been speaking about tension between these different world powers? World War Three, all right? Different plagues, pestilence, and famines. Different things, man. Those are the men that you ought to take heed to. All right? So it says, that thing which the Lord hath not spoken, which is anything contrary to the scriptures, but the prophet hath spoken presumptuously, all right? Thou should not be afraid of him, because... In ancient world, when a prophet came and they came with the, with the word of the Most High, people were afraid because they knew the next thing to come was destruction. All right? And that's in the scriptures too. All right? The book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 7. It says, Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophet that had been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Alright? Now the prophets of old, when they came, it was always bad news. It was always bad news. Because they came against wicked kingdoms. And America is a wicked kingdom. Alright? Now the prophets are out there, alright, speaking against this kingdom. And why do people not like the men of GMS? Starting with the apostles on now, because they, the, the men are coming with straight up truth. And nobody wants to know that their kingdom is going down. Especially when you juice them with the kingdom. Nobody wants to hear that, man. You know? So, in other words, the, the men of GMS, starting with the apostles on down, alright? And men that are affiliated with the apostles, you know, with the apostles or, or GMS, so you can understand, alright? Teaching the same thing, okay? We prophesy against countries, which America is one of those countries. We prophesy against, prophesy against kingdoms, which, you know, Esau being the rule of this kingdom, all right, that's a kingdom in itself. We prophesy against war, all right? War is coming to America, World War Three. We prophesy against evil, bad times, plagues, famine, pestilence, 
race wars, martial law, Jacob's trouble, you know, all of that. You know, and it says enough pestilence. Verse 9 says, The prophet which prophesieth of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent them. All right, now, the prophet which prophesieth of peace, okay, because you got prophets who prophesy against peace. Now, in all actuality, peace is not going to come to the kingdom is established. So if you prophesy in peace, you know, in Esau's kingdom, then you're going off. You know? <clears throat> if you prophesy against anti-violence in Esau's kingdom, you're going off. It says, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent them. Now, when the, when the chip, which, you know, is being made known. The chip is being made known, very well known. There's no secret. Alright, there's no secret that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. Alright, and you used to have a lot of scoffers back in the day, man. You know, going back years ago. They're not scoffing about the chip no more because it's being made relevant that that you know America and the European countries are all turned into a cashless society, man. You know, where the scoff is at now? You know, the only next step is for it to be made mandatory. You know, via, you know, terrorist attack or the collapse of the dollar or whatever Esau may try to do through the spirit. But, you know, the word of the Lord is coming to pass and that's coming to pass through the prophets, man. You know, but, you know, that's it, man. You know, the men of GMS, the men of Great Millstone, starting with the apostles on down, you know, who's who's really doing something for the nation. All right, because that's what a prophet do. That's what a teacher do. They bring the word of the Most High. Now, everybody else that's trying to do other things, establish an economy or establish a community or society or wake up all of Israel, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. The Most High is bringing death, destruction, and devastation to America, man. All right? In various parts of the world. All right? So, anyway, you know, just a few scriptures I wanted to bring out through the Spirit whilst meditating on it. So, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the elect. Till next time, Shalom.